This is a demo of my Raspberry Pi rack mounting solution. Uh, first, I want to show you the finished product. This is a slightly earlier design, but it's mostly the same. As you can see, it fits 13 pies across, and this fits into a standard 19 inch server rack. Now, these pies, each one is mounted on a little tray. They have a recessed screw hole there, goes up, the, the pie is mounted here. There's some spacers, and then this is a PoE, or power over ethernet hat, and the screws go in from the top of the pie hat and from the bottom of the tray, and they both go into this spacer here. So once that's mounted into the rack, then all you need is an ethernet cable to connect it to a power over ethernet capable switch, and that's all the cabling you have to do. That provides both the data and the power. So again, this is a finished one with 13. That's how many will fit. Uh, you can also adjust it to print 14, but there won't be enough room for the PoE hat. Or I also have it set so you can do 12 to just make it a little bit roomier, and that's probably a better fit if, say, you have a PoE switch that has 24 ports and you want to print two racks of these, then having 12 in each would make sense. So let me set that aside and show a partly assembled one, and this one is the final design. So here it is. Uh, the basic components are these little frames, and into each one there's a tray. So the, the pie itself mounts onto the tray, as we saw a moment ago, and then each one is going to slide into this frame. The frames are stackable, and then on the end uh, there's an ear part for each end. So, let's see if this is the top here. Um, this ear just slots onto the end there and then provides these mounting brackets, which I call ears, uh, for when you're putting it into the server rack. Now, the whole thing is held together with a threaded rod that runs all the way down the length of it. Let me show you on the purple one. So here in the end, it gets inserted, it follows all the way down the corner, and comes out the other end where there's a bolt holding it. Um, so those are some of the parts you'll need. You can get these threaded rods. I got mine at Home Depot. They were like a couple of bucks. You can get them in a 36 inch length. Uh, they need to be cut down to seven, about 17 and 5 eighths inches to fit in the server rack. So you can get two of those out of each 36 inch length. And then you need hex nuts to go with them. I recommend a number 10 size. Uh, in metric terms, that's a little under five millimeters, so an M4 or M5, I'm not sure what's available in threaded rods, so I can't make a recommendation there. But in the American system, uh, those 36 inch number 10 uh, work well. Let me show you how to mount the Pi. So I have a, here's a fresh Raspberry Pi 4. This is a four gigabyte version. And you can see when it rests on the tray, everything lines up nicely there. So uh, I have here, this is an additional piece of hardware you'll need. Um, you'll need four of these for each pie that you're going to mount. This size is an M2.5 by 12 millimeter uh, machine screw. I got a bag of these off Amazon, gave me a hundred of them, and I think it was, it was under $10. You'll need 52 if you're going to mount 30, uh, 13 pies. The power over ethernet hat also comes with a little bag of hardware. It has four spacers and eight little screws. They're a little shorter. You'll only need four of them. You'll be replacing the other four with these longer ones. So here's how I assemble this. I take the tray, turn it over, and it's got these little recessed screw holes, a little hard to see with the black, but you can push the screw up and the, uh, you end up with still a flat, uh, flush bottom there. Um, so I'll need to put all four of them in. By the way, when you print these, if you print them with supports, the support fills that little recessed hole, and what you can do is just take your screw, put it in backwards, and it kind of pops the support out. So it actually works really well, and has been worked pretty cleanly for me. So once you have all four of these in, you yeah. set the pie over those screws. And that should be a, a nice, comfortable fit. Then you take the four spacers and go ahead and screw those down just, just by hand. Nothing here needs to be especially tight. It's not like these things are bouncing around or going through a lot of stress. Um, 
with the threaded rods, you can also get them up to like quarter inch, but those are just kind of heavier, bulkier. They actually make the frame um, a little, uh, they, they kind, of, kind of showing through, like uh, it just doesn't fit as well. So it's really qu quite overkill. So I recommend the M10 or the number 10 size, which is just a little thinner. So, okay, that one's a little hard to reach. It's got the, the pins, the power pins there. Um, let me get the PoE hat out. And let's see, I remember the orientation for it. going to go like this. Now this is going to rest on the um, here on the GPIO pins and then there's also this four pin connector where it's actually going to make for the, the power so you need to be a little careful make sure you get that lined up just right and when you're pushing it down try to push everything down um, evenly. So that's slotted on there and now I'm just going to take four of those screws that were provided with the PoE hat and put them into the other side of the spacer to hold the whole thing together. There's two. Again, these don't need to be especially tight. Another nice thing about the PoE hat is it also has a fan and it is a temperature sensitive fan, so it just comes on when needed. So now we have a fully assembled piece, um, one of the single pie, and this is going to slot into one of these frames. Um, so let's show how to finish assembling the, the rack. So each of these frames, they all kind of, so they all have recessed uh, what I call a notch and a tab that sticks out a little bit here, and these uh, fit together, and it actually even kind of snaps a little bit on the, the PLA that I've used, and, and it actually holds itself together reasonably well. Now, one piece I printed a little differently, so I turned off the notch, so this is just flat on the bottom. It won't mount up to the rest of them because they have these tabs sticking out, but it's designed to be here on the very end, where the notches will not be needed. So let me go ahead and put all the rest of these together. Uh, here's a few more that have already been pushed together. And uh, let's see, I think this is my final one. Let me just count and make sure I've got them all. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. Here I have one of my ears ready, and this is the ear with the, the notches cut out. Um, that's the default. So that goes on the end here and mates with the notches of this last frame. And then on the other side, I printed a, an ear without any notches in it because they're not needed. And I also have the bottom of the other frame that doesn't have any. And so those will just go together. They don't slot together, but they fit together nicely. Now the whole thing is actually held together with the threaded rods. So I'm going to insert that starting at one end. Again, these don't need to be especially tight. In fact, if you over tighten them, it's just going to start crushing the uh, or compressing the, the frames themselves. You do want to make sure they're fairly even. Uh, it's actually fairly tight, so this side will just sl slot nicely into a server rack. The opening there of a standard rack is 18.75 inches, and I've cut these to be 18 and 5 eighths, so there's just a little bit of slack on them. Draw it in. And again, these nuts end up being a little tight if you use like the quarter inch threaded rod that the original design used. It makes it a little tight, so I really recommend going with the smaller size. You, 
you get the idea there. I won't uh, do the fourth, the other, the other two. But now, uh, this is ready to just slot into any one of these 13 slots. I'll put the other trays in, just so the whole thing is complete. Now there's some adjustments that you can make on the Thingiverse page. Uh, one of them is the fudge factor that determines how uh, these trays are slightly thinner than the slots that they go into and you can adjust that to make it a looser or a tighter fit. Um, I've got it, once you've kind of inserted it a few times, they loosen up a little bit anyway. But that's something that's adjustable. You can adjust the size of the bolt holes. Um, you can also adjust just how big these are. Like I said, this is, this is 13, this is what will fit with the PoE hats. If you're doing them without hats, you can fit a 14th instead. Each one's just a little smaller. Or if you wanted a little roomier, um, and if I were doing it again, I'd probably go with the 12 because my power over ethernet switch has 24 ports. So having 26 pies doesn't actually help me that much. Anyway, so that's the what this looks like. Um, and uh, those should all be adjustable. This is set up as three different Thingiverse projects because they are customizable and it only allows one customizable file per project as far as I can tell. So I've just said uploaded it as three projects, but you'll need 13 of the main frames, one of them optionally with the notches disabled, um, 12 of the trays, and then two of the ears, and again, one of those with the notches disabled. So that's it.